not well reviewed and it was considered a failure. Over the years, its reputation has grown and grown and now it's considered one of Hitchcock's greatest achievements. So it's had some big I don't know, I heard it myself. I don't know. <laughs> and I don't know. second, his original choice for the lead was Grace Kelly. Mm -hmm. But, and Grace Kelly wanted to do it, she wanted to make a comeback. But it was considered not proper for the prince, Princess of Monaco to appear in movies and especially not to play a thief. <laughs> so it was not, she, she desperately wanted to come back and do this. Foster, I was in Paris at the exhibition for, that Grace's son gave, put on, and I saw the letter that she wrote Hitch about the film, turning it down. She wanted to do it. You know that for sure. Yes, she wanted to do it. Okay, it I take your word it for it. Not, it was not considered protocol. Her mm -hmm. husband said this isn't proper. Mm -hmm. Not proper. You know, it's something that Hitchcock wanted to do for years. So critics of Hitchcock say this film cuts close to the bone with the master himself that there's something in this story that comes from deep within him. I have to be something deep in somebody. <laughs> there's a, gotta be a reason that one makes this kind of film. It is very disturbing and, all, and, and, and in some ways destructive, but it is, I guess, the, the therapist dream <laughs> Yeah. To be able to get a hold of someone like this and to be able to get them to face the hit, what happened. And it's it is about facing your, your, the, the demons and the, but the it is, heart. It is the about unfair. a man. It's about a man mm -hmm. who gets control of a woman and cures Absolutely. her. Absolutely. And, and cures her. Woman. Now that leads to the main question of, of his life. your relationship to Hitchcock. Diane Baker is one of the few surviving people who can tell us firsthand what it was like to be directed by this no, great I feel like I feel like crying right now, really. You do? Yeah. Because you, it, it's so many years ago. And uh, I don't think you know how you get through that. How you go through that kind of experience. It was a couple of months of working, it was very destructive, very you? destructive, yeah. I have never let this happen to me in front of people, I really am. But see, at my age, I don't know, I don't know. Can you tell it us? It was destructive, Foster. Can you tell us about well, it? it was destructive for, to be, it was destructive for me. I never was sick and couldn't come to work one day. I had the doctor come to my home. I did not want to go back to the set. I did not want to work under that tension. You know, we were pushed to to, um, to show up and do your work, and Hitch, Hitch was manipulative. He manipulated us, and uh, I saw what he did to Debbie. I never saw them have a civil word. And I never believed that working in an industry would be like this. Uh, years later, I was at a meeting at the SAG, at the Director's Guild, and there was, it was a harassment meeting. And I was listening to people talking about uh, harassment in the workplace. And I suddenly thought, oh my god. Is that what happened to me and to us on the film? It was it was a, it was manipulation, and it was harassment in a, in its form, but it was psychiatric harassment, psycho psychological harassment. Mm -hmm. He was he was very uh, strange, to put it mildly, very difficult, strange, and uh, you never knew day to day what he was going to be like with. I didn't know, uh, you know, he, he'd come up and tell stories, um, yet um, now I'm thinking about it, it's kind of coming up in me. Maybe I shouldn't have seen this film tonight. <laughs> but then 